Aeneas in the fall of Troy here in book two, this is 567 through 570. And at this point, he he is seeing everybody is giving up on the city, um, whether people are being slaughtered in front of him, in front of him, Priam, uh, for instance, uh, or he's seeing his comrades essentially commit suicide. Uh, he's seeing the fall of the city right in front of him. And so he he's looking around and already at this point, I was the only one left. I was the one survivor. I was alone. When guarding the thresholds of Venus and quiet, hiding in the secret seat, I see the daughter of Tyndarus. I see Helen. So in, in more natural English word order, when I catch sight of the daughter of Tyndarus protecting the thresholds of Vesta and hiding quietly in her secret shrine, secret seat, the Incendia Clarum, uh, and Clara is sometimes taken with Incendia, so it's Clara Incendia in some texts, or it's Clarum Lucem in others. So the fires give clear light, or the clear fires, the bright fires, give light to me wandering around, and to me bearing my eyes here and there through everything. I, I tend to feel like this is one of, th this is Virgil at his best here. Um, he's got the timesis of supersum, if you want to take it as that verb, the timesis of the verb being cut into its constituent parts with unus there. So I, I alone was the survivor. Um, but really here, this is his artistry. So when we read this line, and this is why I was trying to give you the translation in order on the first time through here. When we see this, the reader's impression is, as it's taken is that he's seeing something brave. He's seeing something uh, devout, pious. Because what we have here is guarding the thresholds of Vesta, right? The thresholds of Vesta, guarding them. And then quietly, so up to this point we see that he... he, he we see somebody guarding the thresholds of Vesta and that they are silent, right? That they're, they're taciturn, that they're taking all of this. They're not panicking. And then in that tucked away shrine, in that secret shrine, and then we get La Tentem. So it's not until the end of the second line where we get a hint of maybe the tone, tonal change here. So hiding quietly. So this Takitam, first maybe it was virtuous and now it's a, it's a fault, hiding quietly in this secret shrine, Tindarada Aspicio, and that enjambment that's right here is, is amazing. Um, all of this scene that, that the reader's experiencing through Aeneas's eyes comes crashing down. Uh, we see Helen, Tindarada, the daughter of Tindarus. The fact that she is protecting, and I'm doing air quotes here, the shrines of Vesta is all the more ironic, right? Vesta, who is this uh, chaste goddess of the hearth, um, the protector of the home. Um, this calls to mind, you know, the, the famous saying that when the if, if the fire in the hearth of the Temple of Vesta in Rome goes out, then the city burns, the city will fall. And here we go. Here is the woman, the one person, if we had to blame, the one person, I guess we could blame Paris too, can't we? <laughs> uh, but if we had to blame one person for the fall of Troy, it would be her. And she here is Serwantem Limina Westi. Just an amazing evolution of tone as we go through those lines. Uh, and like I said, this has Claram Lucem, and I think your text probably has Clara and Kendia uh, being taken together. And then Eranti is the dative of the present participle here, so Mihi Eranti is implied. So to me, wandering everywhere, and to me, bearing my eyes through everything, possum here and there. 